Hi guys, this is Donda with Double S Auctions. Just walking you through what we have at the sale so you guys can get a feel. Since we're not gonna have a preview today or, fr or Friday, um, I just thought I would walk you through, this camera is giving me fits a little bit. I'll walk you through kind of what we've got coming up. So I'm trying to go in numerical order just so you can kind of know. So this is a Coca-Cola sign. I think it's lot number eight. We've got some really cool pieces in this one. Some nice jewelry. I'm gonna be doing some fun angles with this camera so you may not see me in all of this, but um, we've got some really um, nice jewelry. We've got, those I think are gun holsters, a Red Bull energy drink, and that's a uh, vintage, vintage toys. I think there's some toys in there. This is lot number 16. So you can look at that. For some reason, my my GoPro thing is not wanting to to stand still. It keeps flopping around, so that's why it keeps having these big jumps. But that is a nice vintage light, and there's a long. This one like is a long, skinny chandelier, and then there's a smaller version right here that matches it. There are two different lots: lot number twenty and lot number twenty-seven. But those are really cool pieces. Now the rest of the week we're going to be out of the office working on an offsite auction, trying to get another one of those houses emptied, um, and we're actually going to have that auction in the house, trying to help people move on with their life there. We will be doing the pickup for this auction, schedule appointments only, and we'll be doing the pickup. You won't be coming in the building. We'll be running the credit cards on file, and we'll be doing the, the uh, pickup out the back door. So you'll be like doing a drive through pickup. Uh, you won't have any contact once your scheduled appointment is here. As soon as, right before your scheduled appointment, we'll run your card on file. We'll pull your invoice, get your stuff out the back door for you, and you just pull up and pick it up. So hopefully it'll be a little simpler process. It's gonna be a lot more work for us, but um, you'll have zero contact with us or with anyone else um, that's going to be picking up. So you keep people, there won't be anyone else in the building besides the people that have been here all week. And luckily, praise God, then nobody is sick, so we're in good shape there. We've been keeping very minimal contact with anybody. So we're lot 55, just so you guys know kind of where we're at. Uh, there's a Respironics breathing machine with all the component pieces there. We've actually got four or five of them in this auction. Um, we had a vendor that um, um, had a loved one pass and there was quite a few of them in their estate. So, so anyone that needs a Respironics machine, uh, luckily we're gonna be here for you and we've got like I said, I think four or five of them in this sale. So we've also got some nice tiara glass and corningware. I don't know what, we don't have this one open. Okay, this is a rugged exposure scope, like a little telescope, medical supplies. Uh, musical instruments. We've got quite a few musical instruments in this one. I think if I can get this guy open, I guess I should have done this before I started this video, made sure everything was open, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, it's a clarinet. So we've got quite a few Nice painting supplies and a really nice trunk. We're gonna go back over here because this is where the numbering sequence starts. So if you guys have got any questions, um, obviously since we don't have the preview, um, I don't mind at all answering questions, coming in doing measurements on things that you don't think that we don't have the measurements on. This is the community 
a silver plate set. Looks like these are all in the same pattern. So I'm not even sure what pattern that is. If it says, I think it just says community on it. We've got some Pyrex and more Corningware. For those that like MASH, we've got your MASH videos there. I know this angle's weird, but we are actually looking under the table, <laughs> trying to show you guys what's all here. So this is a cute little set for the kids. This is all of the tin set. Um, all the plates, all of the pots and pans for a vintage children's set. We've got a lot of brass and a lot of ammo in this one as well. So for you guys that like your ammunition, we should have you covered on some of it. Depends on gauges, of course, but there's some 22. There's a bunch of shotgun. Um, so there's... Some nice collectible glasses there, and that's a concealed carry purse. Looks like some really nice flashlights. There's a nice magna light in there, AM, FM with the flashlight, and more vintage flashlights there. More tiara glass, including some bells. Uh, there's some really nice cake pans. These are all Wilton, I think. Let's look. Yep. These are Wilton. I think that one says 1990 on it. But these are all different shapes and sizes. And some blown glass figures. And a vintage radio player. Um, there's military uniforms here. And I think the shirts and everything to go with them. I think I got a little off. This is actually um, a number. These were numbered in the other side. But I can go ahead and show you why we're here. This is a beautiful leather coat with the fringe, size large. And then this one is a nice wool jacket with fur or faux fur. I don't know if that's real or not. And... Nice leather fringe as well. All right, so let's get to some furniture. Now these both have covers on them because they're in bad shape on the other side. So um, I thought about, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Where I'm on that. Go ahead and take this off and show you guys the coloring and stuff of this. So this couch is a plaid. It does have a slit in one of the the, the um, cushions on the top. So I'm not saying that it can't be fixed, but they had chosen to put covers on them. The covers, you know, are in really good shape. But um, yeah, there's a the slit there. And then there's this one with a cover. But this one has got the natural tan color on it. I don't know, I don't remember the shape of this guy. I actually think he might be in decent shape. Um, they just wanted it to match the other, so they brought the covers. Yeah, he's a little bit worn there, but just, just um, know that these two pieces do have the covers that come with them. And then we've got this beautiful table this unfinished wood piece, perfect for a project piece, for any of you guys looking for a project to make it yours. Really nice table there. And a grandmother clock. So this is kind of like a faux grandmother clock. It runs off a quart battery, but it's got, it's got the weights and it's got the pendulum in it, but it is a faux clock it's not the real deal it's a fake darn it but it's still cute okay so we're getting into some nicer furniture oh i forgot to show you this children's desk it's actually not a child's desk it's like a like a intermediate school or high school desk 
It's a large one. It's not the smaller ones. So that's kind of neat. You don't get many of the larger ones in here. We get a lot of the small guys, but... And this one is an enamel tabletop. So it's the red and white enamel. Beautiful octagon table there. We've got some really large rugs here, and I know we've got pictures. We took pictures and then rolled them up, but this one is really large one. This one is a smaller one, and it comes with a lamp, so that's lot number 119. There's some Chester drawers here, and we've got a we've got a split down this building with the and so this one's sitting right there on that split, and um, unfortunately our floor is not level, so that's why those stick out. Got a really nice rolling table there with a metal filing cabinet. And then we've got the mustard yellow catalog cabinet. And what the difference is, is these actually pull out, they pull out and slide inside. So that's the difference there. Some very neat vintage amber colored lamps. And there's Shaylee doing her homework, except I don't think she's doing homework. She's playing. All right, so. We're gonna look in the cabinet here. Obviously, I didn't clean the cabinet off before I started this. So we've got a nice Samsung Galaxy. I think it's a tab two. I've got the details in the you know, on the internet site, but it's lot number 124. And the light looked almost brand new. And then we've got some sterling silver jewelry, sterling silver bolo, as well as the ring. We've got a nice dagger there and a nice um, pen and pencil set. And then this is a nice fossil purse, actually numbered, real leather. It's a really nice piece. All right, so we're um, now moving along at lot number 131. We've got some really nice artwork. And lot number 133. These are neat pieces. These are originals on the, on the velvet. They are Native American. They are signed by the artist. So that is a really neat Bobby Hicks, I think. And these were done like in 1974. So those are cool. These are also originals here on this one. This one's done by William Martin, looks like. I couldn't get the name on this guy. Um, maybe a Yance? I'm not sure. And then this looks to me like it's an original as well. And it is signed by the artist there. So hopefully, like I said, you guys can't come in for preview this time around since we're all supposed to be sitting at home. So hopefully by doing some of these pictures and doing them, I think this is more of an etching here. Um, you guys can get a better feel of sizes and proportions. If you want closer pictures, like some of this jewelry and things, you're just gonna have to let me know. I can definitely, um, or you can also zoom in on some of the pictures online. I know some of our jewelry people really like to come and touch and feel, but unfortunately, we're just not gonna get that option at this sale. Really nice mirror here. This thing is a heavy duty mirror. And then now you get to see the whole auction house from the, the back side there. That's weird. That's like deja vu feeling. Okay. That's a nice little drafting table here. Sony record player turntable. Two out of th um, two out of three of these work. This Gemini compact disc player um, does not work per the consigner. The other two are functioning great. So then we've got the board and milk crates as well as the chandelier. So that's a neat piece. And then that little vintage cart and the wheels. It's got all the wheels, so that's a neat piece. Kind of a cute table there. And a child stove, so that's cool. 
got more ammo. More tools. And then that's a vintage projector screen there. A shooting mat and um, I think that, she, that was a travel, a travel kit too for a rifle just to uh, like a rest and stuff there. Lots of painting supplies again, guys. We've got lots of painting supplies. This is stuff for wood burning. And there's a lot of sandpaper in there, as long as in brushes. Some more wood project pieces and canning jars. It's a neat little shelf and roll around cart. Got some nice um, binoculars. Some cool shoes. Nice little dish set. Uh, there's some more stuff for the breathing machines, the tubes, the replacement tubes. And anyone that's got a printer that takes those cartridges, there's quite a few of these cartridges. These HP cartridges, they're the C4191As and uh, C4192As. They're all kinds of different colors, but those are HP color um, cartridges for printers. So anyone that's got that printer, there's going to be, there's quite a few of them in this sale. Here's another um, uh, oxygen machine, if I could spit that out. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to drop that phone almost. So there's more oxygen stuff in here if you want details like the we're at walk number 197 for the ammo there's all kinds of details and pictures in there for you so i may not be able to answer everything here but a lot of these questions that you've got as you're walking through here will probably be in your descriptions this is a neat picture It is way too quiet in here, I tell ya. But last time I tried to run music with it, just to have something in the background, I got in trouble by Facebook and YouTube for using licensed music. So, unfortunately, you get to hear my voice. Or not hear my voice, depending on if you've got the sound on or not. I'm just watching this. These are cool doors. They're vintage doors that have the overlap. So there's a, like two, two door sets total with the overlap, um, but they've got like Celtic designs on them. So those are kind of neat. And then we've got potato bins. We've got the metal desk and um, obviously the boxes on top of them don't go. This is a neat um, vice here. It's a vintage vice, so that's kind of a cool deal. And then there's a 10 ton uh, jack there. That light set is a really neat light set. That is, those are really large lights too. And they've got the, the mounting brackets and everything. I have no idea if they work, but the, actually there's, there's no light bulbs or anything in them. So they may, may need to be rewired, but that's still, Really nice um, light covers and brackets. So if anyone needs industrial lights, outside lights, inside lights, that will be what you need right there. This is a really nice chainsaw. It looked to be in really good shape. We didn't try it, but it looked like it was in really good shape. It's a Craftsman. Not freshly oiled, so. That's good news. I mean, somebody cared. Got a rolling cart there to put trays.
got a vintage table set. Now this has a drop leaf that's underneath. So there is a, there is a drop leaf. There's six chairs with this and obviously four fit really nicely on this size, but there's actually a drop leaf underneath the table. So that's kind of cool. It's got its own drop leaf and you don't have to worry about losing the leaf. And so it expands to where six chairs go really nicely. So this is kind of a mid-century modern piece. Um, it's in really good shape, actually. The, the formica atop is in good shape. The chairs obviously need to be reupholstered, but the actual frames on the chairs and stuff are in really good shape as well. So that's good news. Um, but the seats, I mean, they're, they are rough, so you'll need to redo the seats. But other than that, that's a really neat set. Try not to fall back here. This is a nice glider set with uh, the stool, I mean, the, the footstool to match it. A neat metal changing table with matching bed, baby bed. These are really nice, heavy duty pieces, guys. These are not the flimsy, flimsy ones, they're nice. So if you know anyone that needs baby beds, this would be the sale for you. We got two metal shelves right there that are selling separately. So they're not selling together, they're selling separately, but they're five shelves total. And they're nice heavy duty industrial shelves. This one's a neat piece. It's a Frigidaire, it is a dryer. And per the consigner, he said it's still working great. And so, you know, sometimes the old stuff, they don't make it like they used to. So um, the old stuff still rock and rolls. So that's kind of a neat vintage piece that's still in working condition. So that's kind of cool. Now this is a tabletop here. Um, it's kind of like the, the Formica top. And then it's got an inset in there where it's got all of the different um, spices, which is kind of cool. It's kind of a neat look. Um, it does not have a base to it, but that's an easy fix for all you guys that like to repurpose things. And here's a project piece for you. This purple desk looks like it needs a new life and a new paint job. So somebody needs to take it home and give it a new life, please. Okay, so then we've got the stainless steel drink server. Um, looks to be in really good shape. Have no idea if it functions properly or not. But I don't think there's much to it other than the, other than the cooling system and the servers. So but it is a nice stainless steel cabinet with the drink servers. This table actually has the raising platform to where it raises and comes closer to you where you can eat on it. So that's got the neat bracket set. This here has got a lot of plastic ware. There's some Whataburger trays um, a lot of silverware trays and um, placemats and things like that. And a nice cast iron. Um, oh, what the heck am I talking about? Sink. Thank you. Sink. Nice microwave. Uh, that is uh, Julie's attempt at humor, um, putting all of those stuffed animals in an animal cage. So. so for all you guys that like animals in animal cages, there you go. A lot of electronics um, for musical instruments and things like that. I'm hitting something back here. As you can see, guys, we've got a huge selection in this sale as well. Um, for you guys that are, uh, maybe you didn't hear me at the beginning of this, we are doing a drive-through pickup with this one, so you'd have zero contact with anybody. I will once you sign up, and you will get the link in the email. Um, your registration email has the link. Your email with your invoice will have the link to sign up, and it's done through Sign Up Genius. And you just go through, oh, I see, this is, um, this, these are adult materials, so that's why there's paper on top of those. We don't need to see things that you don't need to see. So, on Facebook and in YouTube, at least. So, um, the Sign Up Genius link will be in, like I said, the email 
with your invoice. It was, was in the email when you register for the sale as well. And you can sign up for a 15 minute slot. Now what that does is it tells us when you're coming. So it tells us when to run your card. We'll run your card right before you show up and you'll drive to the back of the building. No one's gonna be coming in the front door and um, the, actually the front door will be locked. And so we'll, you'll drive around to the back of the building. Your credit card would already be run. And then for you guys that write checks, I'm sorry, you're not gonna be able to write checks in this one or pay in cash. We're not gonna be doing any transfer of money with this one. We're just trying to keep everybody safe and um, have as little contact as possible. So we, um, we make everybody happy as far as um, not, not having any um, connection with the public. So this is trying times and we're all trying to do our best to, to keep contact to a minimum. So, and still be able to help people liquidate their estates. So what that's gonna do um, for you guys is gonna have everything at the back door for you. If you do buy furniture, you are gonna have to bring help, guys. We are not gonna have any help at all to load it, but it will be all sitting in one spot for you out the back door. We'll have somebody out there watching to make sure nobody takes things that they're not supposed to. But other than that, there'll be no contact with anyone here. Um, your stuff will be waiting for you. I will make sure you get to the right pieces and then you're on your way. So um, we're signing up for 15 minute slots. If you end up getting a lot of stuff, uh, we would ask you to please Sign up for more than one 15-minute slot in a row. That way, we, um, if you get a lot of big pieces, a lot of furniture, things like that, sign up for a couple of slots. That way, you have plenty of time to load and not have any contact with anyone while you're here. Because the next person that comes behind you may be immune compromised and not want to, to have contact with anyone either. So... Nice little pancake air compressor. Transmission filters, huh? Look at that vintage phone. Neat rotary phone there. I'm not gonna get too closely to that guitar center because there's a naughty picture on that. So we don't need to have it all over Facebook, but that is a hardback um, guitar case there. Looks like a yogurt freezer and a, and a juicer. Well, hopefully by doing this walkthrough, you guys will get a better feel for what we've got, sizes. I'm sure you're gonna have questions that I didn't answer. Um, I will be checking, checking um, Facebook. So if you have I will not probably check my the YouTube. I just don't go to YouTube very often, so do not contact me on YouTube um, with questions. But if you are um, watching this on Facebook or you have access to Facebook, send me a Facebook message there. That's going to be your best bet. We're going to flip this to the front so we're in order. Going over here to the corner. That's going to be the best way to get picture. I mean, get your questions answered or you can actually just give me a call i mean we're answering the phone still we're not shy on the telephone so give me a shout 
you got any questions for us, got anything that you don't think I showed enough of and you want to see more, send me either a phone call, a text message. Our number actually drops into a text as well. So the number for Double S Auctions is 806-452-9100. I get text messages there as well. So again, that's 806-452-9100. So there's lots of um, rakes and gardening tools and stuff here. Uh, we're right at lot number, let's see. 428 looks like that one wants to come off that sticker doesn't want to stick for 432 430 all of those will you'll be able to see more detail from the um from the pictures that we've got online so there's a neat um neat jacket here from high, by mervyn's there is a levi stress and a beautiful flag that black fabric is just something we use to put behind pictures, and I didn't get it out of the corner before we did these pictures, so. So not to be confused. For you football fans out there, looks like Denver Broncos stuff. Some vintage metal toys. That looks like a um, metal shear for thin gauged metal. So any of you silversmiths or people that like to use thin gauge metal, that would be perfect for you. Some neat leather boots for kids there. Anyone that likes to do crafting projects with boots, that'd be perfect. There's a bunch of patterns in there for painting for you women that like your patterns. We're getting kind of close to the end of the sale here, guys. So we are going to be around to answer questions on the phone. We're going to post this on Facebook and YouTube. So hopefully um, you guys will see it if you want to see it. And I'll also post the link in an email probably tomorrow. So everyone that doesn't see it before then has, an ac um, has access to it. There's a cargo... Um, holder or cargo carrier there to go on top of your car. We've got a lot of uh, landscaping rock and stuff that came in as well. So there's all kinds of buckets of landscaping rock, all kinds of large um, decorative rock there, all kinds of pavers, large trash can and dolly, some neat extension ladders. We've got some cool um, displays here for you some um, displays and some metal brackets there. Vintage bike. There's another display here. I think it was Under Armour, but it can definitely be changed with your branding. So for you vendors out there that need displays, a nice shelving unit, and then a gazelle type. I don't know if that is an actual gazelle, but that's kind of like a gazelle type. So guys, I appreciate you taking the time. This was 35 minutes, so I know that this was a lot of information, but um, hopefully we'll see you online. And if not, then I'll wave to you at the back door when, um, when you pick up on Monday. So you guys have a great day and um, have a good weekend.